I think both sides have low expectations. Uh, certainly in the Biden administration, uh, the messages are that expectations should be very low, there won't be major outcomes. But there are some things that the United States would like to achieve. Um, we have a, a serious problem in the United States with fentanyl addiction, a lot of Americans that die of this addiction every year. And uh, some of these chemical precursors come from China. And so the United States would like to resurrect our, uh, our law enforcement cooperation with China on this issue. And China is very transactional. They want to get something for it. The United States imposed sanctions on a lab in China. And so that could be a give and take uh, where we end up with some uh, increased Chinese uh, cooperation. This is important for President Biden because we are heading into an election year. And of course, uh, Biden is running for reelection. Uh, so this is some, it's a campaign issue. Uh, and then other, other than that, uh, the United States would like to resume uh, the cooperation between the two militaries, and that is something President Biden will talk to Xi Jinping about. When Xi Jinping was vice president, he came to the United States and he went to the Pentagon. And I was told he came away with an understanding that we have to have communication between our two militaries. We have to avoid misperception and miscalculation. And so this is something that I think Biden will remind him of. Um, and hopefully there will be an agreement uh, to have more dialogue and more um, operational conversation between our militaries. It's almost on a daily basis uh, that we are seeing our Navy ships and our Air Force uh, and, and China's Air Force in, in close calls. And the China Military Power Report, which was just released a couple of weeks ago by the Pentagon, uh, the annual report, uh, for the first time said that in a two-year period between the fall of, of 2021 and 2023, there are 180 um, uh, coercive and risky uh, actions in, in the air uh, by the Chinese uh, Air Force against the United States and 100 against U.S. allies and partners. Um, and, and so these numbers are considerable. If you looked at them in the overall context of the the total number. We don't know what that is. It's a classified figure, but it's probably a small percentage. But nonetheless, it is rising and it is dangerous. And so our militaries do need, need to talk. And I think other than that, um, uh, there's a desire by the United States to find more areas to cooperate with China is. We want to test the proposition that we can compete and cooperate at the same time. And uh, so uh, John Kerry, our Climate Envoy has been leading the effort to try and get China and the United States to find a way in the run-up to COP28 uh, to, to cooperate. So I think that will be um, on the agenda as well. And then China will have its list of concerns. They will talk about the technology restrictions. Uh, they will talk about Taiwan, as they always do. And Xi Jinping will be looking for more reassurances uh, from President Biden. Um, and, and maybe some statements about what we might do if uh, there is an election of another uh, DPP president in Taiwan who Beijing fears um, might really push for legal, formal independence. And Xi Jinping might even be looking for some, uh, uh, some promises from, uh, from the United States that we would not allow that to happen.